Welcome back to Seize That Sunrise. Now there's a new group in town and they're called Advocate for Change Jamaica. Advocate for Change is an advocacy group that was designed to advocate on issues affecting Jamaica. The members of this group are criminal justice and mass communication students from the Northern Caribbean University. The group's first project, hashtag Fathers We Need You, primarily focuses on the means and ways to get fathers to play an active role in the lives of their children from the tender age of birth and to highlight the issues concerning their inactivity. Here to give us all the details for this important group and their work, we have Ashiki Spuna, who is the founder. We also have Vanessa Riney, who is assistant director, and Sergeant Dean Kova, community liaison officer. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, Sergeant. Thank, Thank you so much. So we're going to start with Ashiki, my good friend. Yes. Um, today is a reunion. Yes. And Ashiki, um, advocate for change, advocate for change. A change is actually an acronym. Yes, it is. What's the meaning of so change? So the acronym, the change acronym, oh, the acronym change is conviction, humility, awareness, integrity with a small I, yes. and the N being the bigger, um, the capital letter, yes. growth and empowerment right. in Jamaica. Now, um, those would have been well chosen and deliberate terms. Yes, it would have. Why? Did you choose those and what's the importance of each for developing our country? All right, so the, it, when we were choosing the name, we didn't want something that, you know, it's just an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're just going to advocate for change, but what is the change that we hope to see? So these letters represent the change that we actually want to see. Mm -hmm. We want to raise awareness about the issues that we have. We have, we want conviction. We want persons to look in the, inside themselves and say, oh, but I need to do this. I have a responsibility to do this. Mm -hmm. And the humility, once you recognize that this is the issue, once you recognize that you of yourself have to change to make Jamaica better, you should be humble enough to accept that change. Mm -hmm. Growth and empowerment, of course, you want these marginalized groups, these individuals who have suffered misfor um, misfortune, you want them to be empowered, you want them to grow out of their situation. Mm -hmm. And that is what an integrity of four horse. You know, sometimes Jamaicans are seen uh, as a group of persons who lack integrity. We want this imagery to change, mm -hmm. and as such, we have that acronym. Mm -hmm. Now, Vanessa, one of the things that we face, uh, that I'm going to take from Ashiki's point on integrity, where the growing argument is that a lot of Jamaicans are becoming, uh, we're becoming a society of scammers, and, and uh, everybody is always having a trick up their sleeve, an ulterior motive. For such a young person, what draws you to participate in a program such as this? Okay. So basically, where I'm from, I'm from the western side of the island, and we know that that side of the island is, scamming is prominent. And majority of young persons tend to um, gravitate to such lifestyle. What um, I want to see a change there, because especially, especially in my community, a lot of young persons don't really see a way out. So they, and this stems from the lack of fathers in the homes. So I want to see a change there where fathers pay um, a better role in the lives of their children. So a majority of those young persons will see that there is a better way out. You can be a better man, a better woman, and so on. Mm -hmm. Sarge, I mean, is it, is it ideal? Is it surprising or is it ironic that it takes a group of ladies to be saying to us as men that we need to achieve these changes in our conviction, our humility, our, you know, growth and empowerment and the importance of integrity? Well, uh, I'd say ideally, um, and the reason is uh, what we realize now in our society is that a lot of our males are absent from our homes. And as a result of that, um, for the most part, and kudos to the women, because I was grown by a single mother and, mm -hmm. um, in St. Elizabeth. And so, <laughs> and so <laughs> I wonder where in St. Elizabeth is. <laughs> Santa Cruz. Uh, uh, yes, Santa Cruz, yes. where is that again? <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so I believe that uh, what um, Ashiki and Vanessa stated earlier is just 
to say how much our women are important and as such they would have seen or our women of our society would have seen that they are the need for for the change for especially our young men because what is happening now and especially um, what, when you realize that when you look in our justice system in terms of a penal system rather you'll realize that a lot of our young men are behind bars and we don't want that because if they go to prison then our ladies are going to be here without um, the, support. The, the support of the women and so we are trying our best to ensure to get this message out to our our our, our people to let them understand and, and especially to our men so that they can able to appreciate what we're bringing to them Mm -hmm. And so that this, this change in our society can come about and that, you know, they can give more support mm -hmm. in terms of where the families uh, right. is concerned. No, the, the hashtag, Fathers We Need You, that certainly will generate the interest on social yes. media that and draw it. persons Indeed. to the program. Indeed. But physically, outside of social media, because the criticism has been, especially over the last couple of yes. months, that we have all of these social media campaign, um, no violence in love, no, we have this one, fathers, we need you. What are the steps to get people, live, living human beings on board, and how can they participate? All right, so what we have done is that outside of the... The, the social media campaign because of course our webisode is a part of the social media campaign mm -hmm. but what we have actually done is to have um, we, we're, we're, we're in the process of conducting a research because what we find happening we have a lot of research um, out there we have a lot of information out there but um, Professor Barry Chavans actually st um, did a research and that's something that we are looking up to right now because it's helping us but what we find lacking right now is a Jamaican base mm -hmm. um, um, information and because of that we can't really go towards the issues as we'd like to go towards them because we have to move from the fundamental step of research because without the research we can't take the intricate the intricate steps right. so we're at the research phase right now mm -hmm. with the research we what we want and we're hoping that um as soon as our pro proposal is approved to get nation funding so that we can do a nationwide mm -hmm. um study because you don't want information just from just certain areas of Jamaica because right. it will then still be lacking. We know that with research it will never be 100% foolproof, so to speak. Yes. But you want it to be as accurate as possible so, right. and that's what we're striving for. So right now we're in the process of doing the research. Coming up in summer, this is where all the fathers get to show off with their children and yeah. all of that because we'll be having the Daddy and Me camp in summer and that camp will have fathers to be and fathers themselves learning how to be a better father learning mm -hmm. what you can do we understand that there are a lot of things that cause fathers father absenteeism in Jamaica but how do we move from there mm -hmm. we what, what we find in Jamaica now is that we are quick to point out the problems but there is no no one is thinking how do I solve this problem nobody thinks about how to solve it and nobody seeks to exemplify where it's actually working yes. because mm -hmm. while the numbers are alarming as to how many yes. of our young men are in prisons mm -hmm. or in lockups the numbers are also alarming as to how many fathers are absent yes. but the numbers are very reassuring for how many fathers actually take an active role yes, in leading their families mm -hmm. and sometimes also fathering or mentoring other children. Um, do you see down the road where there can be a, a registry or um, a list of volunteers and mentors who can join Advocate for Change, Vanessa? Yes. Yeah. Um, after our registration and after we get everything put together, we are planning to put out applications for persons who are willing to volunteer I if you want to be a mentor and just, or just be a part of Advocate for Change Jamaica. Yes. Now, Sarge, um, this project, Ashiki, Vanessa, yes. Sarge, it's linked to that excellent institution in Mandeville, Northern Caribbean University. <laughs> when you would have left and you are now graduates and you're back in St. Elizabeth and you're back out west, is that the end of Advocate for Change Jamaica or is this a platform that will become a part of our community action going forward? So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Go ahead, boss. It, it, <laughs> it does not end here. Good. You see, a lot of persons might think this, and also one of the things that I hope to point out is that it's not an NCU based institution. Mm -hmm. So, though we are students there, it's not an NCU based institution. Okay. But we also would like to have to give credit to those at NCU, those persons at NCU has been instrumental in, mm -hmm. you know, helping us with the groundwork for Advocate for Change Jamaica, like Dr. Tapper, Ms. Mm -hmm. Noreen Daly, yeah. um, Dr. Charmaine, 
Charlene, sorry, Sharp and Miss Booth, we have to give credit to these individuals because yes. they have assisted in our work that we are doing. However, what a lot of persons, what, happen, what happens with advocacy projects or with charity groups in Jamaica these days is that you start out, you get funding and nobody hear about you after that. Yeah. That's something that we hope to change. And we believe that one of the reasons why this is happening is because the lack of support sometimes from Jamaicans. So what we do, and that's why we have the social media, because we realize a lot of persons are into social media these mm -hmm. days. And the hashtag, you know, have persons gravitate into us. And coming up also, Mills, we have um, the Daddy and Me competition where you take your photo with your child and persons get the opportunity to vote for it yeah. with the hope that you'll be on our stickers and on our banner. So the winners cool. will be the persons on yeah. this. And this helps because the photo show that we did the other day is getting tremendous support from the public. Right. Persons are loving it. They are loving the idea of a father uh -huh. being yeah. there with their yeah. children yeah. and that's really good. Right. Now we're, we're closing up this segment for this morning but where can you be reached how can our viewers who want to participate who want to contribute so that yes. you can nationalize this important yes. research how can they get in touch with you all right so you can contact us via email advocate for change jamaica at outlook.com you can also like our facebook page advocate for change jamaica yeah. you can watch our webisodes on uh, youtube webisodes at, yes. these young people <laughs> and they just throw these terms <laughs> and you have to like webisode webisode right. what's that what's these that these are like <laughs> small interviews that were done um our PRO Courtney, he actually came up with this idea. Do a webisode. Persons are loving the vlogging idea on yeah. social media. Vlogging so, for all of you. <laughs> vlogging is when you put a video blog on social media. Yeah. Webisode is when you have like a small documentary yes. out of a series and you put it on social media. Uh, Come in another word and test me again. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we have our Twitter, which is yeah. at AFCJ. Jamaica at AFC Jamaica I'm so sorry yes. and you can also contact me via cell I do distribute my cell number because this is advocate for change Jamaica we want this change so it's five nine triple six one nine and you can also contact our administrative assistant Sakina at three four four eight seven two eight all right thank you very much um, sergeant from Santa Cruz yes. Saint Elizabeth Vanessa, pleasure to meet you, and Ashiki. Yes. We're family now. Yes. Just not, just not the biological time. We're family, and I'm very yes. proud of this initiative. Thank Three you. Three of you, really, Thank very you. pleased. Thank you. We go to the break. More on CVM at sunrise when we come back. Hurt y'all, but still. 